Yo, <laughs> what up? Oh, it's your boy Vic the Quan back at it again. Literally, literally back at it again. We are back at it again. Like literally back at it. We're driving into the city right now. We're gonna do this nice and quick. Um, so we what homegirl? Yes. What did we watch on Christmas Day? Uh, we watched Star Wars. You watched Last Star Jedi. Wars episode what? I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> as as per usual, I am the person that like has never. I mean, I think I watched the last one, but I don't really remember. Like, I probably watched them, but I'm not like 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 a faithful, like consistent, like I don't I don't like consistent fan. Mm -hmm. I'm not because I have been. Well, yeah. yeah. So and, I just and, and if you know me, I'm not a Star Wars fan. I'm a loyal and faithful uh, trekker. Um, so, but I do. I do keep up with Star Wars. I will. I have seen every Star Wars film. Um, you know, not counting like the, the spin-offs. Uh, I have not seen Rogue One yet, but I probably will see it eventually. Was that the one that came out before? Uh, I think I've seen year. that one. That came out last year. I think I've seen that one. Yeah, but I do like. I do try to maintain knowledge of the Star Wars lore. I know. You know, just because you know, I, I, the, the my biggest gripe with uh, people who. Who, who try to tell me Star Wars is better than Star Trek is, well, how many of the Star Trek films have you seen? And they'll probably say, oh, well, I saw maybe, like, part of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the thing, or too, the if, we wanted to, like, if we wanted to, like, dive into that a little bit. Like, they're both, they're both good. Like, it's cool. I'm sure. just, I'm just going to choose to get more, I'm just going to get into Star Trek, Star Trek more than Star Wars. Sure. Like, they both, they're not, they're different. They're, okay. they're two completely different things that, like, right. are Well, fine. okay. So, yeah. What? Well, let's just get right down to the nitty-gritty. Okay. So, did you like this film or did you not? Yeah, I did. I liked it. I a liked lot, it, too. Actually. I mean... I tried not to. We were... I liked it. Like, we watched it, like, we watched it pretty early in the morning, and, and I like, didn't have a lot of sleep, and I was, like, tired, and, like... Hung over from all that eggnog? But... No. Nah, I wished. But like y'all were like hella talking about it, and I was just sitting there like, like I just can we just be quiet? <laughs> I was like I just want like I'm like oh my god, you guys talk so much. I don't know. I was just not I was just not in the mood for it. We were my else was talking about it, but it's cool. Um, I yeah, I liked it. I mean, people, I've, I've just heard all of the, the the griping and opinions and didn't like this and that, but like. Looking at it as someone who's never seen or like never really seen the stuff before and doesn't really know what's going on, like it's it stands it has steps so ah, purity. It has stuff substance standing on the Sure, you know, there's a lot of set pieces, a lot of battle scenes that were really entertaining. Um, you know, uh, the lightsaber battle, uh, with spoil like who who fought who um but wow you know, there's, there's one pretty. lightsaber scene that was really nice what the view oh, we're in the city everybody wow so uh beautiful but yeah like i i i am not a big fan of the character of ray uh you know I, like i like i told people for episode seven I just thought what? she was like a, a bootleg Kira Knightley, is like <laughs> what, I, what I would say. And I, I still yeah. feel that way. I just, mm. I don't really like but her as an actress and a character. Y'all, 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 Sorry if there's a spoiler. That's not really that big of a spoiler. But yeah, there was a Yoda cameo. And I don't, for whatever reason, they made him look animatronic. Like, um, yeah, like well. Yoda in episode 2 and 3. Or was it just 3? No, no, he was in 2 and 3. He looked better in episode 2 and 3 than he did in, in this film. Which is a little strange, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, 10 years later and whatnot. He looks so empty up here. It's so weird. So strange. People are still off. off of work, well, it's I just. Guess. I mean, oh shit. Yeah. How does this go? 
Yeah. You go straight like and then okay. left. I was like, what kind of? Yeah. Whoa, Firefox. Oh, is that where Firefox is? I don't know, but that says Firefox. Yeah, Hello. I guess so. I guess that's Mozilla, the building. We're at, we're at the pier. We're at yeah. Pier 26 right we're now. Hell of a bay. Anyway, um, what are some of the bad things about the film that you didn't like? Alexa? Bad things. Um, or things that didn't... I feel like there was some stuff that didn't make sense. I tried to find pl plot holes and stuff, but there weren't really any. I think I think they my, my biggest okay, my biggest gripe was like because the story is like they got the, they got their army of like rebellioners, and like, and then they there's const, there's like battles, so they keep dwindling, right? The rebels. The rebel people. Yeah. The resistance. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, okay, like. And, and that, I think that's my gripe in like any like battle kind of movie where like of course the main characters like of course they stay they don't die like like I like I don't I don't like the the likelihood of that in real in real life in a war situation people die like like it doesn't matter if you're the main character the you're like or like like I don't know the odds the odds of you dying are still high mm -hmm. and you know like even in the very end when like they're in the little pod thing is and they're all being like just wiped out one by one I'm like okay yeah we just let's just all put the important main characters in the one por important pod that's not gonna get shot of course like I don't know like that doesn't make sense to me mm -hmm. and and yeah that just doesn't make sense to me that's all you know one thing I will say is that every time I heard a character say, may the force be with you, it almost came off as really cheesy and and um, kind of silly. Like, you know, the, the equivalent in Star Trek is live long and prosper, of course. But, you know, it doesn't come off cheesy because usually the people that say that, I mean, that's you're, you're a Vulcan. If you're a Vulcan, that's what you say. That's their common uh, uh, salute or whatever you whatever you how you would call it but you know when you have like uh princess leia and uh, whatever fabulous purple haired chick whatever her name was they're like telling you know like like they're they look like they they they're members of a book club together and they're just telling each other you know live i mean sorry may the force be with you or something like that <laughs> it just it just came off really cheesy and um a little silly uh, but other than that you know there there were there are little there are very few gripes I had with the film maybe one one thing was oh, there's a fear. How, how did they stay out of <coughs> how did they stay out of cannon range like if this they have so much advanced technology and yet their dreadnought can't yeah. fire on the cruiser I mean I think that's what I find fascinating like the way they they translate the way they interpret the future in Star Wars versus yeah. the way they interpret this future in Star Trek. Mm -hmm. It's like the aesthetics are very different. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. Mm -hmm. Like I'm I'm down for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think there were a little some parts that were a little <clears throat> too much. Um like you didn't need I didn't need to see that that fight between uh um, Finn, the black guy, and the chrome stormtrooper. It wasn't even that great of a fight. <laughs> um, you know, there was Brianna another. Tar. Yeah, there was another part where they're both going directly towards the. Uh, um, at the end, in the last fight uh, battle scene, mm -hmm. when Finn is is going straight in, in an old speeder, he's going straight for the the battering ram, and um, and uh, the Vietnamese chick. The one that looks like my cousin. Crap, 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 crap. What? What's wrong? I made a... I was supposed to turn made there. A boo -boo? Oh, sorry. Okay, well. Anyway, the Vietnamese chick, like, she peels off, but somehow she's able to overtake him and come at him in, like, well, a... I guess I'll find perfect, uh, um, perpendicular attack vector. Like, what the heck? There's no way, because he was just in a straight line. He made a beeline straight for the, the cannon. Anyway, uh, but other than that... Uh, yeah, and then how they found they were like looking for someone, then but then they found someone else, and they're like, "Well, we're just gonna make this work." It's like, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was exciting. 
Like, I was a, I was a Star Wars fan when I was a kid, and I remember uh, the only thing I cared about in Star Wars was that it's exciting, that it's cool, you have all those flashy lights and and big uh, big battle scenes and stuff like that, and it didn't disappoint when it comes to that, you know. So that's for me. I didn't I didn't uh, have a problem with it. I know Star Wars fans are griping about it, but I think Star, like I say, I think. Star Wars fans are just used to getting exactly what they want. They're getting they're used I mean, to getting that, everything. Like that that's they where want. It, it comes into like what I was saying before. Like, like, people, like people when they get, make a Star Wars movie, they have carte blanche. People get so opinionated about movies now. Like, yeah. Like and it just it plays into the hype. Yeah. And, so and and much. Star Trek fans, uh, don't get me wrong, they oh, yeah, they, they hate on their cool. they hate on like any I mean, new stuff too. Yeah, because we we've, we've seen it with the way uh, Discovery. Came true, but 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 you have to look at uh, look at it in the same way where Star Wars, I mean uh, Star Wars, they they are keeping, they are trying to maintain the original vision. They're trying to make these movies feel like they fit in the original films. Whereas in Star Trek, they just reboot it. They completely like throw away the original vision sometimes, and they just try to make Star Trek uh, something uh, different. And I, I'll still appreciate Star Trek for what it is, but I just I think it, it's it's a little unfortunate that. Star Star Trek does isn't given the same amount of money, for example, for one, to uh, uh, to make their new uh, productions, and what? they're also not given uh, people a yield, I suppose. Okay, now you have to go. Now you have to oh, go. Jesus. Oh, you scared me! You scared me! You scared me! Sorry. What the? What is that? What is that? What I does that even mean? I, don't, I think I don't know. I really don't know. She had a blinking yellow turn signal. Whatever that meant. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about Star Wars. Oh, I, I didn't like Episode Seven, but I did. Uh, I did like this film. So, all right. Um, how many? Uh, let's see. How many Jedi mind tricks out of ten would you give this film? Mm, like so. Seven. Seven. All right, I'll give it an eight for episode eight. Like I said, you know, hey, it was a, it was it was a good, entertaining movie. If I was a kid, and this was the first Star Wars film I ever saw, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm a Star Wars fan. All right, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, f uh, follow us on uh, follow me on Twitter at Victor underscore Quan. Follow me on Instagram at Victor no underscore Quan. You can follow Alexa at. Uh, uh, Instagram is at Alexalent N. You can follow her on Blogspot at uh, Better Than Alexa. You can follow her. Where do we park out here? This is ridiculous. Ah. I'm sorry. Uh. All right. Be cool.